Hey chickies, okay today we are doing rainbow for the 31 day challenge. Now I just want to say before we get into it that this particular tutorials may not be very helpful to anyone in particular or anyone at all for that matter. Uh, it didn't actually turn out the way I thought it was going to but I ran out of time and couldn't do a new one so uh, you know I hope you like it. Let's get into it. I'm really sorry in advance. Now these are the polishes that I use, they're all from the Shop 84 Neon Pastel Collection because pastel rainbows are my favourite. <laughs> now I used OPI's Alpine Snow as my white base. Now for this one I'm also using OPI's Nail Lacquer Thinner although uh, I would suggest that you just use straight acetone or non-acetone remover. You're going to need some Q-tips as well and something to put the nail polish in like this little palette thing that I'm using. So basically this is a nail art that was taught to me by Sammy Saurus from the Nailosaurus um, blog. It's called a Nimbus nail art and originally when I first did it a couple of years ago she taught it to everybody in 2013. Uh, we used nail polish remover or acetone and for some reason I don't know why I changed my mind about that and decided to use nail polish thinner instead and I wish I hadn't because I think it would work much better with, uh, well I know that it does because I've done it before, uh, works much better with nail polish remover. So basically as you can see what I did just then with the pink is you just put a dot of uh, the polish into the little receptacle that you're using as you can see I'm using a palette uh, and then add a few dots, a few drops of the nail polish remover, not nail polish thinner because it doesn't work as well and then so you're basically just thinning out the nail polish and then you just take your q-tip and dip it into the uh, well and then dab that on your nail it's as simple as that and usually it works really well but this time not so much I don't know and I even ended up with fibers on my nail from the q-tip probably because they were kind of cheap and nasty I bought them from a, like a dollar store probably should have bought you know expensive ones but I didn't lesson learned anyway so yeah uh, sometimes things just don't work out the way you think they're going to or you change the way you do things and it turns out that your clever idea turns out to be a stupid idea and yeah you end up regretting it now don't get me wrong I do I, I like this many I like the way it ended up to be honest I, I do like because I love pastel rainbows uh, but yeah it just didn't end up exactly the way I wanted it to so Regardless, it's still a rainbow, so it still applies to the 31 day challenge <laughs> anyway. So, as, as you can see, yep, you can see what I'm doing. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I will attempt to answer them in some sort of way. <laughs> I'm sorry, this one's just a complete mess. Now, I couldn't fit the purple onto or the like the lavendery purple color onto the tip of my nail because I obviously made the pink too. I put too much pink on so there wasn't enough room for the purple so that's why I painted my pinky and my index nails with the purple which is called Lasher Lavender. All the details the names of all of the polishes will be in the description box down below if just in case you need them but it is the Neon Pastel Collection from Shop 84. I'll put a link to their store so you can go and have a look at it. It's very pretty, very nice. Now as per usual you're going to want a top coat. I am using Sesh Feet for this one as per usual. <laughs> and that's it for this one. I really hope you can find something to love about it. I, I do kind of like the end result. It's very pretty. Anyway, next up is gradient nails. Yay for that. Okay, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye chickies. Oh and thank you for subscribing and thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Bye.